Seven years ago in 2009, a video that honestly looked like somebody had filmed it on their phone was uploaded to YouTube that many would say was the first ever viral bass video to explode within the online bass community. It was authentic, it captured an amazing musical moment and to say that the bass playing on that video was phenomenal honestly would be an understatement. It was just mind-blowing. The video has received almost 5 million views to date and the bass player was a young Sheree Reed bass player for the likes of Aretha Franklin, Corey Henry, Yolanda Adams and many many more. In this lesson we're going to be jumping into that very performance and looking at the three specific times Sheree went beast mode. <laughs> Scott Devine here from scottsbasslessons.com helping you take your bass playing to the next level and on this channel we focus on one thing and one thing only we focus on bass. we do YouTube tutorials we talk about bass gear and everything in between so if you are new here slap that subscribe button below and get on it. So the first part of this performance I want to focus on is just the opening few bars. I can still remember the first time I heard it and honestly in that first moment I just thought this is going to be good. So if you haven't heard or seen this video before just check this out. Right, so let me play that with a metronome so you can see what's going on a little bit closer. Now if you want to slow it down, just use the slow down function down there. See that little cog there in the right hand corner? If you click that you can slow the video down. Now with that said, let's do it. Two, three. When you're learning a bass line like this, you really got to focus on a few critical things. First of all is nailing the placement of the notes. Get the rhythm right, okay? So focus on that fundamentally. It's the first thing you should be looking for. Then after that, you really want to be looking at the articulations and dynamics along with note length, okay? So let's take note length for an example, okay? Just that opening section, okay? That Okay, I'm not playing this. You know, there's, it's not, I'm not holding on all of the notes. There's gaps, there's room to breathe in there. And hopefully when I'm playing this as well, you can hear the dynamics and the articulations. It, all things aren't equal, okay? We don't play bass like this, da 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 da. We have hills and valleys. Yeah, so. all of that and the dynamics and all of that it kind of adds to the whole soup the whole mix of it and that's why Sheree sounds so good because he's got all of that he's got the note placement he's got the he's got the note lengths he's got the language he's he's got the sauce now this next section I'm about to show you is probably one of the most famous bass licks of all time on YouTube and when somebody says you know that kind of gospel bass lick type thing that goes over the bar line this is probably the exact lick that they're talking about and a side note just look out for how the audience reacts to Sheree when he drops this lick of doom it's absolutely immense check this out <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Have you ever heard such a monstrous bass lick as that? It is an absolute beast. What I'm going to do now is play it with a metronome so you can see it and hear it in its entirety. And then I'm going to slow it down a little bit for you as well so you can see exactly what's going on. Two, three, four. One more time for fun. So this entire lick is actually just built from a B minor pentatonic with the addition of one sneaky note that I'm going to show you, okay? And when you're learning it, I really do recommend breaking it into sections, okay? So you're not going to try and, you know, nail the entire thing. You're going to break it into these little pieces, okay? The first section, well, obviously the first section is this. But, you know, that's the easy bit to play. The, the first real section is this. Okay, so there's the B minor. So that's that B minor pentatonic there. We're just playing the B minor pentatonic from the minor third. There's the sneaky note. Okay, that ninth of the B minor. So that's the first section. The next section would be so da -dee -dee -da -dee -dee -da -doo. and then the third section would be the okay so three specific sections one two three and then to that B, but that's really just sort of like a walk up to the B. It's those sections that you need to nail down. Now I've got one more for you, but before that, it's time for question of the day. What I'd really love to know, is there any specific bass licks or lines that you'd like me to do a lesson on, focusing on that specific line or lick? Okay, if there is, just let me know in the comments, that way I can go through them after I've published this lesson, and we can put it on the list of lessons that we're producing in the future. If you would do that, that would be amazeballs. Now, for this next example of Sheree going beast mode, doing his thing, I'm just gonna let him play us out on this as it's some of the best bass playing that I've ever heard. He's just grooving so hard and doing his thing and it's right at the end of the video as well. So if, even if you've watched this video before, you might have missed this bit at the end. And honestly, for me, it's one of my favorite bits. Every bass player on the planet needs to see this next bit of bass playing. Now, if you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure that you slap that like button. And remember to check out scottsbasslessons.com as well, which is the ultimate learning platform for bass players, just like you. I've put a link in the description so you can grab a completely free 14 day free trial as well. So with that said, I'm gonna hand it over to the amazing Sheree Reed to take, it, take us home, take it easy, and I'll see you in the show. <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> 